The classical theory of economics says that the economy will fix itself. Because prices and wages are flexible, any time we see a decrease in demand, say we're in a recession or a depression, the economy will naturally bounce back. You can think of this like a seesaw, which will naturally right itself, or you can think about it as a bop ball or punching bag. So the economy will bounce back. So suppose that we are in a recession. Our income is down, we're afraid we're going to lose our job, maybe we've lost our job, or we're making just less income. And so demand is down. We see our bop ball is down. Well, when demand is down, what happens is prices fall because we're not buying goods and services, so things go on sale. We find that wages fall because we're not buying those goods, and so there is now more competition for jobs. Lots of people are unemployed, and so you're going to hire whoever is the best for the least amount of money. So when demand is down, there's higher unemployment, so wages start to fall. We don't buy as many goods, so prices fall. Well, as things become cheaper to make and cheaper to buy, then we start to hire more workers, we start to buy more goods and services, and demand goes back up. So the economy bounces back on its own. It fixes itself. So demand decreases, prices fall, we get deflation. This is going to cause interest rates to fall because of the Fisher effect. We're also going to see then with that decrease in interest rates that we get more loans because if it's cheaper to borrow money, you're going to borrow more, and that's going to cause demand to go back up. During those periods of recession, we see high unemployment. Lots of people are looking for jobs, so employers have lots of choices. So who do you hire? You hire the best for the least, which means firms hire more workers, and that means the unemployment rate goes back down. The employment rate goes back. So the economy bounces back on its own.